We're working on the test yard today and trying to get everything ready. The bees will be here before too long. As you can see, there's a lot of Apame hives behind me, especially for those of you who have Apame hives or are thinking about getting them. We're preparing for them right now by down stacking the hives and getting rid of some of the stuff in the Apames that we definitely don't need when the hives are first starting out. So first of all, we're going to take these two dividers that come with each one of them, which are awesome. You can divide both deep boxes right down in half and you just there's little grooves that these slide down and and just perfectly fit there's gonna, we got all this stack over here of the extra and we'll use eventually there's a foam and all that stuff and there's the apame hive right there it's nice that it's all put together and almost ready to go but we need to first of all take one of these deep boxes off of here and what we're going to do is turn that upside down. We're going to take these feeders, set those right here. And then we are going to take this off. And the cool thing is they will strap onto each other as well. So you can have stacks of these things and they won't come off each other. And it's really easy to just roll the stacks of these around. So you got the queen excluder here. We definitely don't need that for quite a while. And if you watch the videos, we will definitely be showing you when we do that to all 26 of them. These are for keeping the frame spaced perfectly. Um, I won't probably use these, um, but some people really like to have those in to keep the frames exactly where they want them. All right, let me show you this right here. This is the most important stuff that needs to come out. So this is really cool. You've got your pollen trap right here, and the bees have to come through that in order to get into the hive, and if they have pollen baskets, it's going to shuck them off down into this tray below. But we definitely don't want a young colony like this losing its pollen. They need everything that they can get until um, they're quite strong, and so got to get this out of here so it's easier for them to get in. We're going to take this tray out, and I am a big fan of having solid bottom boards on young colonies and overwintered colonies. It's just my opinion. And the nice thing about the Apame is you have this that really slides in there tight. Real nice and tight. And so um, you almost get a solid bo bottom board with that. But if you completely remove it, then it's a screened bottom board. So you get really the best of both worlds. And that's one of the things that I noticed is I had very little bearding with this setup because of the insulation of the box and also that I could pull this and have that screen bottom board in our hard summers. Lastly, you definitely want to put this little insert in right in here where that pollen trap went to and that will keep the bees from using that as an entrance because you'll have bees coming in and out of here and then you're standing behind the hive and you're in their way and oh, fun times ensue. So we're just going to throw this stuff over here and now we're going to stick 10 frames in here. Now when the nukes come, they'll actually ha we'll have to pull some of these frames out so not all of these are loaded with frames. We, we just loaded just enough of them so with the nuke frames it should be just right. Got the nice Premier foundation in there. And now we're going to throw these feeders on top get that in place. They don't have to be all the way down for this to work. And now they're strapped and ready to go. That's a nice thing. Um, it's it's going to be really easy just to throw this on the truck and also to close them up. Let's say we wanted to move bees in the future. These things are really easy to move because you can have, um, you have ventilation up in here. You can have ventilation right here. Um, just have that on the perforated side. You can have this close so the bees can't get in and out, and then you can pull that bottom board right there, and then you can have that screen bottom board so your bees aren't going to overheat on those hot days, and you can move your bees quick and easily. So I'm looking forward to see how these things do in our test yard, and also more importantly, seeing how we can keep the bees alive and healthy and thriving using the all-natural treatments that we have available and what it's going to take to consistently get good results with all of them if we possibly can but likely there will be some that do better than others so it'll be a lot of fun thanks for watching this little prep video for the test yard and it will be starting soon thanks